Hey, and just like that, the next episode has begun. Welcome back to Ace Attorney Dual Destinies. I'm your host, Megatron Davis, the second video game's a second commentary. And when we last left off, we were. Excuse me, what? We were talking to Miss Buckler over here. So let's go, get, let's go ahead and continue. I don't know, I thought she was Marlin's friend or something! That staff. the staff corridor, huh? Something about that doesn't sit well with me. Oracle diagram update in the court record. Pearls apparently entered the staff corridor. Need to keep that in mind. Well, if it bothers you, why don't you just ask her about it? Yeah, good idea. Let's go catch up with her. July 20th, Ship Shape Aquarium, Aqua Tunnel. Secret Tunnel! Secret Tunnel! Do I say that? I, I don't. Do I say that every time that in a ton? I don't know. Looks like Mr. Ryan's and Pearls are talking. Ahoy! Base small fry was so clutch with the assist. Rhymes and rifle reunion a tail ending in bliss. Now animal keeper rhymes ain't gonna get cut. Mad prop small fry this case is now shut. Yo 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 ho 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 yo. Word to your mother. Anyway, someone said that the Ryan's voice reminds them of, like, a combination of, like, um, the Fulbright voice and the, um, what's the, what's the voice, um, the, uh, the Filch voice. Right? Because, like, you know, Bobby Fulbright's like this. Yeah, I'm Bobby Fulbright. Whereas Mr. F Mr. Filch is like this. <laughs> I didn't mean no harm behind it. <laughs> Whereas... I made him sound kind of, I, 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 can, I, can I do the voice properly? I've forgotten how to do the voice, haven't I? But like, it it did, honestly, I thought it, it sounded like Fulbright a little bit. <laughs> it was my pleasure! Uh, by the way, that someone was Phoenix Edgeworth. Like I said, I'm gonna start trying to, um, use people's names when I refer to their comments from now on. See you again sometime, Rival! <laughs> okay, let's go, Rifle. See ya, small fry! Oh, Mr. Nick, I didn't see you there! Alright then, will you get anything else? Isn't it cute? I really love this calendar! It's shaped like a penguin. It is pretty cute, isn't it? Nah, I get it. Let's, let's, let's look at it, ladies and gentlemen. Nah, that's like kindergarten cute. That's not cute cute. It's shaped like a big. Isn't kindergarten cute, cute? No, 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 why don't you just use a phone like everyone else? Who uses a calendar anymore? It's like, like, I mean, sure, I'm sure plenty of people actually still use calendars, but no one, actually, come to think of it, actually, yeah, at my, at my house, at uh, my parents' house, I should say, at my parents' house, um, yeah, they, there was a calendar where, like, we write, where, like, we had write, like, important events and everything, but for the most part, like, that's not really like a thing. Like people have people have calendar calendars have sort of become like a thing of like decoration these days, right? Like no one really uses them anymore for the most part because like we all have phones that can tell us the date and time, and most phones have like a calendar app or something. So I don't know, just one of those things. Anyway, I always went run out of room to write appointments on my planner. Why don't you just put your appointments on your phone? <laughs> yeah, there we go on your phone. I'm not very good at using electronic devices. Please, you were, dude. You're a millennial, just like the rest of us. Come on, you you know how to you you. Don't be that. Don't be that guy. Oh, neither am I. <laughs> we have something in common. Pearl has an excuse because she she lived in freaking Bufu, Egypt. But like Phoenix, you don't have an excuse. Ah, now I feel left out. All right. What we actually need to present is this. Maybe we need to talk to her first. Yeah, we, we probably need to talk to her first before we can present it. Talk. Relations to Rhymes. Hey, Pearly, you and Mr. Rhymes seem to be really good friends! Could you tell us more about your relationship? Well, I... 
One? Yeah, it's one. You can usually tell, like, you, I don't know if, like, you guys, like, think that, like, whenever these appear that, like, it's out of sync. No, it's just that you can usually tell how many there's going to be by the amount of chains there are, so. Um, pearls? Why do I see a psych lock? Um, I'm sorry, Mr. Nick. Well, it's, at least it's not a black one, so. But I really shouldn't talk about it. Ah. Hmm. I don't really feel right about digging the Pearl's affairs. But she was here at the aquarium at the time of the incident. Whatever she's hiding could help could help us in court. Sorry, Pearls, but I have to use my magatama on you. Take that! Take that! Sam Regal. It's so weird hearing Sam Regal's voice with Phoenix. I don't know. A psych lock. A lock on a person's heart that only I can see. The deeper the secret is hidden, the more locks there will be. Pearls only has one lock, so I should be able to undo it fairly easily. But if I make a mistake, I'll be locked in a loop and won't be able to move forward. Okay, time to give it a try. Relation to rhymes. Pearls. You have to tell me about your relationship your relationship with, with Mr. Rhymes. Relationship? There is no relationship between Mr. Marlin and me! <laughs> this is so easy. We're just a visitor to the We're just a visitor to the aquarium and an animal keeper at the aquarium, that's all! <laughs> but there are areas where ordinary visitors to the aquarium don't get to go. You were here before the incident occurred, weren't you? Oh, this is too easy. Was she in the she was in the staff court like like, I guess we could go, like, anywhere, right? I right, present- that. Yes! That's right! But how did you know? Someone told me you were there. I got confused and went the wrong way! Uh-huh. That's a likely story. <laughs> yeah, you got confusing at the- yeah. <laughs> I didn't know it was a quarter just for the staff! You can read, Pearls! Like, this isn't like, you know, in case 3, or in case 3-5, where you're like, Oh, I can't read any of this! No, that was in case 3-5, that was, uh, uh, 2-4, right? Well, there was one where, like, yeah, I think it was 2-4, where she's like, I can't read any of this! But that's all it was, Mr. Nick! I didn't have anything to do with Mr. Marlin! Sounds reasonable. I guess I better move on to my next topic. Actually, there's something else I've been wondering about, Pearls. Why do you smell like fish? Fish? What makes you think I smell like fish? My nose. That's what makes me think I smell like fish. Well, there's a certain someone who convinced me it wasn't my imagination. Uh, Rifle? Rifle? She's apparently very attracted to the smell of fish. Rifle didn't want anything to do with Athena, even though she had a bunch of fish. So why then was Rifle so attracted to you, Pearls? Uh, I don't know. Hmm. Looks like she's still not ready to talk about it. You had an object with, object with you that smelled fishy, too. In fact, I think this has something to do with your secret. The fish? This? No, no, this smells like fish, right? It smells, yeah, that's right, the calendar. The fishy smelling calendar has something to do with your secret, doesn't it, Pearls? Ah! I... I can't lie to you, Mr. Nick. I'll tell you about me and Mr. Marlin and about the calendar. Unlock successful. Too cool. All right, Knuckles, shut up. Stop chuckling. Well, uh, but Knuckles doesn't. Knuckles doesn't chuckle. That's Sonic's job. <laughs> For those of you who don't get the joke, you should watch my um playthrough of Sonic Adventure DX, or you should play so Sonic Adventure DX for yourself. Yo, my name man's Knuckles. Unlike Sonic, I don't chuckle. I'd rather flex my muscles. <laughs> anyway, <sighs> it was only one lock, but it sure took some work. <laughs> We've had much worse, we've had much worse, Phoenix. You're just getting, you're sandbagging, you're getting old. Relation to Rhymes. Please tell me about your relationship with Mr. Rhymes. I became distracted by the gift shop almost, almost as soon as we got to the aquarium. Before I knew it, everyone else had moved on and I got lost. I was so embarrassed to be lost at my age. Oh, Pearls, I know big crowded places are hard for you. I sort of panicked and went down the wrong corridor. So she actually did get legitimately lost. I ended up in the food prep room, and that's where I met Mr. Marlin. I still don't understand, because, like, these places have signs. Especially in Japan, like, 
like, especially in Japan, there's gonna be signs. Like, you know, if you're someone who can't read Japanese, it's not gonna do much for you, generally. Unless you're, like, in, live, unless you're, like, in a bigger city. Like, I know when I went to that aquarium in Okinawa, for example, there was, there were English stuff as well. Actually, was there English? Hmm. I haven't been to Okinawa in, like... Oh, man, it's been, like, eight years. I need to go back, man. It's a nice place, I think. Um... Yeah, I haven't been there in eight years now that I think about it, but... Um... Yeah, like, the aquarium... The aquariums had, like, English... Like, it, like the names are written in Japanese, and then, like, they had, like, their um, Latin names. And I think there might have been English names there, too. I don't know. I think it, may, maybe it was just their Latin names, which is universal, right? Like, there's no such thing as Japanese Latin, right? <laughs> At least I don't think so, so... I don't know. It was one of those things. I really started- I really started him when I called out to him! He jumped so much, he started- he startled me too, and I lost my balance and fell down! Oh, Mr. Nick, I smell so many fish all over the floor! I guess that explains why you smell fishy. Pardon the pun. What? What's up? Oh, okay, okay, I get you, I get you, I get you. Yes, and my counter fell off my back and got buried all up- and all the fish too! But it doesn't explain why Pearls wanted to keep it a secret. Why did you hide it? Why did you want to hide your meeting with Mr. Rhymes? Well, I didn't want him to get in trouble over feet over feet sanitation regulations because of me. And Mr. Mullen said he didn't want anyone to know he was in the food prep room. Huh? Why not? What was he doing in there? Before I spoke to him, he was staring at a calendar. But because of me, he dropped his calendar too. Why don't we take a look at what's written on the calendar, actually, huh? We had to search for it among the fish! Wait a minute! This calendar of yours, is, uh, is it already has writing in it! It does? But I didn't write anything in it yet! There's something written here under today's date! Meet the captain at the orca pool at 7 a.m. 7 a.m. Time to get some cereal. It's Friday. It actually is Friday at the time of recording. It's Friday, Friday. Gotta get down on Friday. Everybody's looking forward to the weekend. Throwback to high school. I was in high school when it came. I think I was a sophomore in high school actually when it came out. Uh, issue at all aquarium staff for communication. No, no. What? Are, okay, this aquarium's opening at 10 a.m. Oh, we don't have an autopsy report, do we? But when when was he found dead? But this is at the time of the. This is the time of the death, right? And apparently, this was at 10 a.m., so... Maybe the counter Mr. Mullins got mixed up? Pearls, about what time did you run into Mr. Rhymes? I think it was about 10.15 when we had the, had the info disc announced that I was lost. So I must have first gone into the prep room at about 10.10. I see. Do you mind if I hang on to this calendar for a while? It might be a clue to the victim's movements before he was killed. Alright! Well, be sure to give it back to Mr. Marlin later, okay? Calendar update in the court record. Apparently it belongs to Mr. Rhymes. It was accidentally switched with Pearl's calendar around 10, 10 a.m. Good. Now maybe I'm ready to remove Mr. Plume's Cyclops, too. Alrighty then, you ready? Move to the, uh, Pobble Danger. Mr. Phoenix, right how dare you? July 20th, Ship Ship Aquarium. Cube pop a danger. You people again, you're becoming quite the nuisance. If that veterinarian won't come out, then I might have just might just have to give up and leave. Veterinarian? Is that the Dr. Crab Mr. Ryan's is talking about? You are correct. He likes to shut himself up in that back room there and won't come out. But I don't think he's even in there today, so I'm about ready to go home. She sure seems to know a lot about the workings of this aquarium. And maybe a little something about the incident this morning, too. Mr. White, this is no time to be standing there thinking to yourself! It's time to put your psychedelic clock skills to work and uncover her secrets! <laughs> That's psych lock, Athena. Psych lock. Or psyche lock if you're Garkon. We're not gonna get into that argument. <sighs> Why you're here. Mr. Plume, I want you to tell me the secret you're hiding. I'll do nothing of the sort. It would mean breaking my promise. I don't know who you made this promise to, but you will tell me. You're not, a, you're not an aquarium 
and an Aquarium employee, and yet here you are after the place is closed. That must mean you're connected to the incident involving the owner somehow. <laughs> I don't know anything about any incident involving the owner. No, I think you do. I have a piece of evidence here that suggests you do know something. Eh. Swashbuck flyer. Oh, this. The security footage. Duh. According to the Detective Fulbright, this shows the orca attacking the victim. And the person in this footage is wearing an outfit just like yours, Mr. Plume. Oh, I suppose there is no hiding this bombshell figure, is there? Yes, it is I. And I think I can guess why you're here at the aquarium. You aren't simply a visitor to the aquarium. What you really are is... Uh, a witness to the murder? A police investigator? A ship shape employee? Uh, she's not an employee though, she doesn't work here. Right? Is she a police investigator? We'll go with that. You're a police investigator. <laughs> You're completely off the mark. I think you know full well that I am not a police investigator. I full well did not know that. This we don't get put. What's interesting about this is what I notice is that we don't seem we don't get punished for this. Because if you guys recall, back in the old games, um, back in the old games, um, and just this is for both just for all and trials and tribulations with the Cyclox, um, like. The patience meter that happened in court also carried over to the investigations, right? And if you got things wrong, and what, what really sucked about it is that if you got things wrong in the psych lock, that would take away from your patience meter. Now, granted, now granted, the psych lock um, after you um, successfully broke everyone's psych locks, the patience meter would recover. But um, the patience meter would recover, but. Um, Sometimes, like, if you really messed up and you were on the last one, you'd only you'd only be starting court with, like, half a meter. Now, granted, I think in Trials and Tribulations, they changed things a bit, so, like, once, like, um, the court session started, or, like, once the investigation started, they gave you a bit, they gave you a bit more of the patience meter. Like, I think the patience meter grew a little bit. I don't know. Whereas in this game, it doesn't really matter if, you, if the patience meter gets removed, because, like, once you start, everything's, like, completely restart, everything's completely refilled anyway, so. Uh, witness to the murder. What? I, I thought this was obvious, that's why I didn't choose it. You are a visitor who also happens to witness the death of owner Jack Shipley. I thought that was super obvious, which is why I ignored it, because I was like, well, I thought we already knew that. That was proved with the camera, so... That is cur Oh, I want to say it, but I promised the police! It's not good for you to keep things inside, you know. I'm sure you'll feel much better once you get it all out. Or maybe she'll feel worse, don't you know that, Phoenix? People sometimes feel worse. I... I give up. I'll tell you everything! Alright, freaking mass, not not mass to mass, but, uh, Ron Delight here. <laughs> what is that voice? I don't know. If you, wanted, if you wanted to tell me this badly, why couldn't she have done so from the top? Because then we wouldn't have, like, because padding the game out, that's why. I think anyone would agree that I held it in for as long as I could, but I couldn't be expected to withstand this commoner's badgering any longer. I feel like, I feel like the voice that I'm giving her at certain times it sounds like the voice that freaking Kratos gave, um, what should I call it? In um, Eight Miles and Edrith Investigations, gave uh, freaking Miss You, Celeste You, Callisto You, I should say. Please, please calm yourself, Mr. De Plume, and that's top class badgering. And that's top class badgering to you. Commoner's badgering, okay. Yeah. You are correct, I witnessed a killer's killer most cry with my own eyes. You got a problem with that, blue boy? Boss, Mr. Plume's anger is so powerful! Eh, it's normal. I've, I've we dealt with worse. Any, worse. Anyway, Acropaz, you guys in the next episode.